Okay, so we're going to be leading with the uh, potentially slower strategy of trying to name every Pokemon from each generation individually. So with that being said, let's start with Kanto. Everybody knows generation one, probably. And then I like to go by areas, uh, personally, to remember ones. So I'm pretty sure that in Fire Red and Leaf Green, uh, Mankey and Primeape are in the same area as the Nidorans and Spearow. And then there's the version exclusives. Uh, Bell That's not how you spell Bellsprout. Uh, there's Seal, my least favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, we can put down the, the three from the main areas. There's Magmar and Jinx and Electabuzz. I did not put those down in order, that's fine. What is that one? There's one between Slowbro and Farfetch'd. I should totally remember this. Oh man, I'm already lost. This is bad. <laughs> oh, no, I got Psyduck and Golduck. Never mind. I totally had an epiphany over a pair I already got. Oh, that one there is Tangela. Um, okay, what about the two there? Do you want to just, I can just fill out the rest of it. Um, or I can at least put down the fossils. Ammonite, Amastar, Kabuto, Kabutops, and Aerodactyl. I'll save the legendaries for once I've figured out those two there. What are they? Well, I probably didn't miss an area. I probably just forgot pair. I'm well and truly stumped on this one. What number even is it? Hold on. So I think Voltorb is number 100, right? So 99, 98, 97, 96, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90, 9, 8, 6, 7, Wait, I skipped. Hold on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, ninety-one, and ninety-two. Is that right? Is that what numbers they are? Oh, did I skip Magnemite and Magneton? Oh, okay, <laughs> that would explain it. <laughs> did I really do that? <laughs> I, I really put down Voltorb and Electrode and Muck and Grimer and coughing and wheezing, and I skipped over Magnemite and Magneton. Okay, uh, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Uh, Mew and Mewtwo. All right, cool. That's Kanto. All right, let's move on to Johto for Alligator. I mean, it ultimately doesn't matter if I put a, the final stage of one first, but I want to try and keep it succinct here, you know. Furret, Hoot Hoot, uh, Letty Ba, Letty In. Did I skip? Oh, I skipped Noctowl. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and I'm planning on tackling all the evolutions or pre-evolutions of previous Pokemon uh, all at once by just going down the Kanto lists. But uh, Togepi isn't one of them, so I'm going to put Togepi and Togetic. That's not how you spell Togetic. Uh, Snubble, Granbull. That's not, that's not Garnbull. Uh, put down Mistrevis and Murkrow. Mistrevis because Morty should have one. And Porygon 2. Okay, that's everything except the legendaries. Cool. So there's Raikou, Entei, Suicune, uh, Lugia, Ho-Oh, and Celebi. All right, cool, that's Johto. Um, all right, Ch I almost put Chikorita again. <laughs> Dang it. Combuskin, and then my favorite Pokemon of all time, Blaziken, Wingle, Pelipper, Pelipler. <laughs> and then I think, weirdly enough, after Swalot, I'm pretty sure that it's Carvana. Yeah, it's a weird one. Sharpedo, and then Whalmer and Waylord. And then I think it's Nummel? Yeah. I would have expected Nummel and Camera Up to be after Swallow Up. And then I think it was Bagon, Shelgon, I almost wrote Sheldon. And then is it Shellos, Gastro? Nope, I skipped one again. Um, oh, it's Truby and Cherim, right? Yeah, okay, that's it. What is that one? Or those two? Between Baneri and, or Lopany and Glamio. What is that one? What? What? What's stumping me here? What is that one? Hey, Powdon, I feel like I'm skipping quite a few. <laughs> I probably am. Riolu and Lucario. This is going great. What are those ones in the middle? <laughs> I should be I should be remembering this. Am I just dumb? Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I need to be smarter. <laughs> oh wait, I think that some of those are like Miss Magius and and Haunchcrow. Yeah, okay. There should be several evolutions of previous Pokemon. Let's see. There is... Start off with a bang. The first one is going... Excuse me. Is going to be... Magnezone. Oh, Hapini. Oh, I know what those three are. It's it's Hapini, uh, Mime Jr., and Bonsly. That's it. There we go. All right. We're all caught up now. Oh, Mamoswine. Oh, wait. I skipped Tangrowth. <laughs> Whoops. 
I just completely looked over Tangela when I was going down Gen 1. Oh, Dusclops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dusclops is what it evolves from. Dusk Noir. There we go. Uh, Dark Rye. Dark Rye. Unova. Okay, so this one's the easiest one for me to name them. Not only all of them, but also in order, because Unova is my favorite, and I've and I've memorized like the order. So I might make a few slip ups here, but this is going to be mostly in order. All right, here we go. Lilligant. I skipped Petalil. Yeah, those slip ups happen sometimes. Keldio, Meloetta, and Genesect. Boom, there we go, and I only messed up one by putting Lilligant before <laughs> Petalil for some reason. Helioptile... Oh, I skipped a bit. What did I skip? Oh, all the water encounters, that's right. I always forget that those are placed b between uh, Malamar and Helioptile. Ah, oh, is Pukumuku... I think Pukumuku is before them. No, after... Darn it. Sandy Ghast and Palos Sand. Oh, Bruxish. That's right, I hate Bruxish. And this little unknown section here is just Meltan and Melmetal. Pretty simple, that one. Indeedy wouldn't happen to be one of them, would it? I always forget Indeedy, so I'm putting it down now, out of principle. How am I forgetting those ones there? I mean, there's a three-stage line. Is that right? Is that three-stage? Is that a three-stage right there, or is that like a two-stage, where the final stage has two forms? The only problem is, I'll admit, the areas in Galar are not that memorable, which I think a lot of people would agree with. Because <laughs> I know everything else after... Dragapult is like legendaries or mythicals. So it's just the one line there. It's not like around stone side, is it? Let's see. Um, Opal, Gigantamax's Alchemy, Jordy, or Gordy and Melanie. G-Max, Colossal, and Lapras. Piers doesn't G-Max, but he has Obstagoon. Oh, it's it's Toxel and Toxtricity. Oh my god, okay. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Alright, I figured it out. <laughs> I'm back in the flow of it. Basque Legion. I just got stuck on Toxel Toxtricity for like 10 minutes. Alright, last one. Paldea, let's go. Lechonk. Uh, Oink Cologne. Oops. Oh, there we go. Wait, who's after Larry? Um, oh, it's Rhyme, right? So there's Grievard. And how? That's not how you spell Houndstone. Houndstone. Let's see. And then Tulip uses Tinka Tink, Tinka Tough, and Tinka Ton. You know, I guess we'll see. We so we can fill out the Paradox Pokemon. And then the legendaries. Um, and then we'll see if there's six left. If there's six left, and that means all of those are two stage evolutions. Coridon and Maridon. So yes, there is six Pokemon. It is all two stages. Okay. Oh, uh, the evolutions of pre or not like the ones based on previous Pokemon. There's Toad's Cool, Toad's Cruel, Wiglet, and Wugtrio. Is that it for ones that are based on previous Pokemon but aren't them? Two more Pokemon left to name right there between Rabska and Tinkatink. Tinkatink, Tinkatink. Oh, it's it's Flittlinus Pathra. That's what it is. We did it. An hour 22 is what it took. So yeah, one hour and 22 minutes to name all 1,008 Pokemon, and that's naming them one region at a time while not skipping forward to the next one at all. So the second strategy that I had... Let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay. The second strategy that I had was as I named Pokemon from a previous generation, I would then name any evolutions or pre-evolutions that come in following generations. So... Uh, it's worth a shot. Uh, let's reset. All right. 
I want to try and get sub one hour. I don't. I have yet to do that so far, uh, even in all my practice. So I want to try and do that. So let's let's try it. All right, here we go. Ready? Uh, Wuxian, Shen Pao, uh, Ting Lu, Qi Yu, Roaring Moon, Iron, Valiant, uh, Coridon, and Maridon. Done! Just over 45 minutes. That was a lot faster than before. Goes to show, um, I'd say the strategy of naming each Pokemon and any future evolutions, uh, and pre-evolutions is the right way to go yeah i think that about wraps it up so thank you everyone for watching and uh i'm gonna go get some water and take a nap now because oh boy that was uh took a lot of energy to name them all out all right uh yeah so take care everyone